Hello friends, it's Amy Freelici at the Gathering Inspiration Stamp Studio. And today I wanna to show you how to make this super cute, it's like a little treat box kind of um, holder, I guess, a little treat holder. So anyway, I wanna first of all show you, cause I love this beautiful, this is the Perennial Essence Designer Series paper. And I absolutely love this paper. So I knew I was gonna to have to try to make some fun little projects with this paper. These are actually um, treats that I'm giving to all of my club members this month in July. So if you would love to get cute treats from me every single month, if you join a club, uh, you will get those treats from me. I have information on my blog at gatheringinspiration.com about the club options. There are local club options as well as long distance club options. So everyone can participate in a club. So anyway, I wanted to show you real quick. This is the annual catalog, the perennial essence. You can see the beautiful paper, the patterns, the imagery in the perennial essence designer series paper on these two pages. And then as well, this one, and I'll try to kind of get in a little bit closer. These are all of the patterns of perennial Essence designer series paper, just beautiful. And you can see how they're kind of showing you front and back. So one is kind of a more bold floral image and then another one is a little bit more of kind of a, a washed look. And that's the case with all of the front and backs of that perennial Essence Designer Series paper. So let's go ahead and get started because this is a, just a very simple little treat box. We are going to start, actually I should show you. So this Designer Series paper, this piece measures four and a half inches by six inches. And we're gonna grab our scoring plate and I'm gonna score along the bottom at one inch, first of all. Don't press too hard with the Designer Series paper. You need to be careful. If you press super hard, you're gonna uh, run right through it and you obviously don't want to rip that. Then along the six inch side, we are going to score at one and three quarter inches, two and one quarter, two and three quarter inches, and then at four and a half, five, and five and a half. And that is it. So we are done with the scoring plate. Now we are going to kind of fold along all of our score marks and you can maybe see them a little bit better on this side. This is kind of the reverse here. So we're gonna fold up along the one inch, then fold these, and we're actually gonna kind of accordion fold this kind of second score mark. It actually works better if I go like that. So that's the idea. That's the side of your box, one side. And then same thing here. On the two outside ones, we're gonna score them, and then we're gonna accordion fold the middle. The idea is the box is gonna to go together like that, okay? Now we are going to grab our scissors and we don't need this teeny tiny little piece right here. So we're gonna just cut up along the score mark to the other one and just cut that little piece off. We do not need that. Then we are going to cut up along these other score marks, not the middle one that's kind of bent the opposite way. You don't need to cut that and I'll show you why. Then I think it's easier if you kind of cut these at an angle a little bit so that you can fold the bottom pieces of your box up very easily. Okay, now I like to kind of alternate. So now that I've done the two bigger ones, I'm gonna do the little ones. Otherwise, I feel like the flaps kind of tend to get in the way. And these do not have to be precise at all. Um, I hear a door opening and closing and Lily is walking in the door right now. Lil, I'm doing a video right now, so bear with me a couple of minutes while I finish up this little project that I'm working on so that I don't have to start over. Okay, so now we are gonna grab some tear and tape and I am going to, I should have had this open already. But I didn't. Okay, so we're going to grab our tear and tape. And what we want to do is add just a little bit of adhesive right along that little skinny edge that I cut the bottom off. The idea being that then we're going to just fold that in just like that and adhere it. So, and I feel like that score mark went a little, there, was a little bit crooked as I was showing you that. So I fixed that. Okay, so we're going to add our tear and tape along this piece right there. Okay, I'm gonna press down firmly. I think that's really helpful when you're working with the tear and tape to make sure the adhesive is stuck onto your paper. Then it's really easy to pull that little piece 
the backing off. And then I find that it's easiest to just lay this right down flat and then everything comes together very nicely, okay? So there we go with that. Now, this is my back side so that if it's not lined up perfectly, you won't even see it, right? So I am going to fold the two skinny little flaps in, my back fold, and then this front one, I'm gonna add a little bit more tear and tape. I like for that to kind of angle backwards, I guess, instead of toward the front of my box. So again, with that edge that you put together on the opposite side, you are gonna add some tear and tape just to that one little flap right there. That's all that you need, and it will hold everything together for you. So peel that off. You just wanna make sure this is fairly straight, that it's not crooked, I guess I would say, and then adhere that. And I like to just kinda of use my bone folder, just kind of go down in there, because my, my fingers aren't long enough hands are too fat maybe to get down in there to make sure that that is adhered together well. So there, that is your cute little treat holder, right? And I'll show you, <laughs> I rated the, um, Lily and I did actually, the little candy um, stash at the uh, hospitality room on our incentive trip, the Greek Island incentive trip. So they have these fun little, these are all candies that you might eat in Europe, I guess. So we have had fun sampling them. So I'm gonna stick that little baby down in the bottom and then a couple, more just kind of adding so it was fun to be able to share these with everybody too so just to um i have put hershey kisses in there before too but anything kind of little that you can just pack a few in then let's see where are i know they're here oh these are the little mini library clips these are teeny tiny little guys so you may need your glasses <laughs> i know i do to try to close that up so can you guys see teeny, maybe I'll hold it like that, teeny tiny, come in white and in silver. Okay, so we need to just kind of, <laughs> they're so tiny, pinch it together. This is where I need my glasses to try, try to get that. <laughs> and I forgot to bring them over for the video. So I may struggle for a moment, but we will get it, hopefully. Well, maybe, maybe I put too many candies in there. That's how many I did. Okay, I have to kind of hold it against my belly here. I think that will help me. There we go. Okay, so that little teeny tiny mini library clip goes right on there. Okay, now we're gonna make our little tag. So let's see, we are gonna do our stamping. I used, I have used this stamp set so many times. This is the Parcels and Petals stamp set. I love all of the sentiments on here. This time I just did that cute little, a little something sentiment. They've also got Somebody Loves You Lots and Lots, birthday cheer to you all year. You're the best, you did it, thank you. And then the fun to and froms with some other beautiful kind of floral imagery. This is a great set, like I said, I've used it so many times. All of these sentiments are very, very useful, I believe. Okay, we have our old olive ink. We are gonna just, so I kind of cheat when I just have to do a little teeny tiny bit of stamping. I just kind of open my ink pad up like this. You wanna make sure that it's flat on the surface. This may be stamping upside down, which it is, but that's all right because we're gonna die cut it. So that doesn't really matter. So there's our a little something, right? Then let's do our die cutting. So I'm gonna grab my die cutting machine. Is it out of the way? I have just a scrap piece of vellum and a scrap piece of flirty flamingo cardstock with my magnetic platform. And I'm just gonna kind of lay all of these pieces right on here. I will show you, we are using from the Stitched Labels Framelits. I have this little circle piece with those kind of stitched edges. And then I'm using that little baby heart. I'm gonna put that on our flirty flamingo. Then these dies are the perfect parcels. Oops, there we go, perfect parcels dies. And I love this little label. So we're gonna use that guy right there. This is the only one I need to worry about kind of getting it lined up. Everything else, as long as it's on the paper, you are all set. Okay, so we're gonna put that one clear cutting pad underneath your paper, your framelit on top with the cutting edges down, and then one more clear cutting pad on top. And that is your sandwich for your die cutting machine. So can you see a little maybe there, the vellum? Love, I've been really, 
um, kind of forgot about vellum for a while, so I've been having lots of fun playing with that again. And then this little baby stitched heart, isn't he? Can you see him? I'm trying to pick him up. He's so cute, little baby heart. Love him. And then I love this one also, the stitching, right? Are you guys loving all of the stitching? Can you see the stitched detail on there as well? Okay, so we're done with our die cutting machine. Where's my sample? I have to have that kind of in front of me so I know what I'm doing. Okay, so I'm gonna just add dimensionals behind everything, basically. So we're gonna put one dimensional behind our sentiment, one behind our little circle, and then a teeny tiny, one of the mini dimensionals we are gonna put behind our heart. And then we're just gonna kind of build things up. Okay, so we're gonna, oops, on the front side there, we're gonna put him on there. And then our little baby, oops, did I get the backing? Little baby heart goes on there. We're gonna put this right on our box. Put that one right there. And then I felt like, oh, it needed a little bit more fun. So I grabbed, these are the basic adhesive backed sequins. Kind of see a little bit of shimmery nest to these. I'm just gonna peel one of those off. Make sure you get the glue dot behind it. Pop that right on your heart and then last, step is going to be to tie one of these, the white polka dot tool. We're going to tie a pretty bow and just this kind of soft, wispy um, look to this tool, I thought really complemented our paper. Pop that off and then normally I would use a glue dot, but I forgot those. The glue dot would go right about there. So you know what? I think I'm going to try one of those little the mini dimensional, I think that might work too. In a pinch, I think you could use these mini dimensionals. Yeah, because that's gonna, you can't even see the dimensional behind there. So yeah, if you don't have glue dots, mini dimensionals work perfectly too. And let's see, I feel like I did, yeah, pattern is maybe a little bit different. You can kind of see a little more pink and blue background, and this one's a little bit more blue and green background. So just beautiful, soft shades. Uh, love, love, love these cute little treats. This one is full of candy. This one is empty, so I'll need to be filling that. And like I said, if you would like to learn how to uh, make more cute projects like this, check out, uh, I have lots of other videos on the YouTube channel here at Gathering Inspiration. Make sure you hit that subscribe button if you haven't done that already. I'm trying to do lots of fun videos for you all. And let's see. Oh, actually, I want to do a quick reminder. So I do Facebook Live videos every single Friday. And if you put in an online order and use the host code, you find that um, at gatheringinspiration.com. There's a new host code every single month. If you put an online order in and use the host code from gatheringinspiration.com, you always receive the cards that I demonstrate. The two, you get two free cards from Facebook Live. And then I always do a giveaway as well. So your name always goes in the drawing for the prize giveaway if you put in an online order and use that host code. So please let me know if you guys have any questions. Um, if you would like the item codes for the products that we used to make this cute little treat, they are in the details to the YouTube video. You can order, um, get everything you need to make these cute projects, and then maybe get some um, fun free stuff for sure cards and maybe even win the Facebook Friday uh, giveaway. So thanks so much for watching, guys. I hope you have a great day, and we'll see you soon. Bye, everybody.